Dave alluded to it. Let's get to it. The Good Catch Fishing Report with Captain Dylan Hubbard. Is he back in your good graces? Are you guys okay now? Everything good, Dylan? Yeah, we made up this morning, so okay. we're good to go. All right. <laughs> All right. We've got a lot to talk about. Let's hit it. Let's start with inshore. Well, right now we're on this beautiful warming trend with finally some good weather for an extended period. And what that's doing is that's really exciting some of these inshore species. Plus, we've got that full moon moving a lot of water. So we've got good tides and that's moving a lot of bait and getting these fish feeding well. We're seeing a lot of mackerel kind of pour into the area. It's early, but there's a lot of mackerel along our beaches and those fishing piers along the beaches, even the sunshine skyway fishing pier is starting to see some good numbers of those mackerel. The snook also are kind of changing their habits. They're moving out of those creeks and river mouths and bayous that they've been hanging out in this winter, and they're moving more onto the flats and even back into the passes a little bit too. So exciting time of year as those fish move around. We're seeing the redfish still very steady and good concentrations around our local grass flats, mangrove shorelines, oyster bars, and we still see those redfish active around the local docks, even in the passes around those marinas and kind of commercial dock structures. We're seeing active trout on those edges of the grass flats, those potholes, those cuts, anywhere that the trout can hang out and wait for that bait to get swept over the flat by these stronger full moon tides. We're seeing the pompano start to show up inshore. They're biting really well around Shell Key, Egmont Key, Fort DeSoto, Anna Maria, those sandy edges where those pompanos cruise looking for crustaceans along the bottom. We're also starting to see a really, really big uptick and a lot of hungry big black drum. I think you'll like some of these photos, Russell. They're the great. black drum typically are around the bridges and those dock structures feeding on shrimp and crabs on the bottom, but we've been seeing a lot of these big black drum push out onto the grass flats recently too, and they're feeding active on just about anything you throw at them if you see one of those big ones cruise by you. We're also seeing some pretty active mangrove snapper picking up around those structures and dock piles as, those, uh, as that water continues to warm up. Sheep's head are in full swing. The spawn is on and we're seeing a lot of the sheep's head around the rock piles of Tampa Bay, dock lines, residential docks, bigger bridges, all very, very loaded up with aggressive sheep's head right now. Plus today is exciting. It's the last day of the FWC commission meeting. They're going to be talking about perhaps lifting that executive order uh, and allowing us to once again catch redfish, trout, and snook and keep them. So going to be interesting day at the FWC meeting. And that's yes. about it inshore, Russell. All right. You got less than a minute for nearshore and offshore. Yes, sir. Well, nearshore and offshore continues uh, to be the big news is the hogfish. We're seeing a great hogfish bite around 40 to 60 foot of water. Some good lane snapper and mangrove snapper action mixed in there. The mangroves are biting best past around 110, 120 foot of water. We're fishing out deeper past that red grouper and in, in shallow water grouper closure line to catch those mangroves at night and then during the day moving back in inside the closure and catching some nice red grouper around 120 foot. There's some active blackfin tuna out there too. It's a great time to get on the water during this great weather we have coming up nice nice you know Dylan, i'm gonna throw you i'm throwing your curveball here uh i just realized i got nothing this weekend absolutely nothing well it's a great time to go fishing but if you were busy <laughs> you're never too busy to go fishing right russell <laughs> and you just knocked it out of the park anyway <laughs> hey good to see you my friend tell everybody hello okay i will you guys love have you, a good Dylan. weekend bye